We now know 100% that there will be new dinosaurs coming to the game this year. I mean, it was already a given in forms of guesswork because we knew there was two creatures coming to the game uh, via aquatics and flyers, but we didn't know if there was any confirmed dinosaurs. Now we have a solid statement that says that. Today I'm going to also go over two dinosaurs and why I think they'll come to the game next and then what I think they'll come with. So, timestamps for everything are on the screen now and if you are new, feel free to subscribe, but other than that, let's get right into the video. The Path of Titans Gods literally gifted me this video. Like, they literally just served it on a golden platter and went, Jordan, you could literally make a video covering this right now, this topic that we have served to you from this new video. In fact, in the tutorial video that they made for new beginners to the game, which I think was really nice, it's a really nice touch, since there's a lot of new people come to the game, and of course, you know, they'd want to know how to get started and stuff like that. So, in the video, at the beginning, they said this. There's something for everyone in Path of Titans, with many more to come in 2023 and beyond. Yeah, they said there'll be new dinosaurs coming this year, saying more to come in 2023 after going over every single dinosaur. They also mention omnivores, and then obviously showing Pachycephalosaurus because it can eat meat, and of course, eat grass. And I feel like we might see another dinosaur come in as an omnivore in the future, and that will be really cool. We already know that the creatures of Hatsigopteryx and Yorhinosaurus are coming to the game in the future, but dinosaur-wise, we didn't really have any confirmation that new dinosaurs were coming to the game. But it's guesswork, really. We saw quite a few coming last year, despite no forewarnings about them. So, this gives us three potential guesses for what could be coming this year, apart from the mystery dinosaur. If you want to include that, it's four. But other than that, you've got Miragaya, and you've got a Kilobator, and then finally, Finally, you've got Microraptor. The mystery dinosaur, as I've said, is number four, but we're going to be focusing on the first two today, and that's Miragaya and a Kilobator. I am going to go over them and talk about what I think they're going to come with and when they're going to be coming, and I feel like it'll be a nice breakdown to talk about these dinosaurs. These are two dinosaurs that should tie in the hatch here for the future of the game, unless the devs pull in some extra surprises for any more dinosaurs. So, let's start with a Kilobator, and let's just get right into it. If I'm honest, a Kilobator will be the first new dinosaur outside of Yorhinosaurus and Hatsigopteryx because they're not dinosaurs that will come to the game. And if I'm going to be even more honest, I'm going to hazard a guess and say that these will be coming in the combat update. But you may be wondering, why will they be coming in the combat update? Well, a Kilobator is a large Dromaeosaurid. It's a large raptor from Mongolia, similar in size to that of Utah Raptor, which we already have a mod for, which is from the Primordial Tyrant's team. And it's a modded dinosaur. However, a Kilobator will not be a modded dinosaur. It'll be a official dinosaur. This is one that we know is coming to the game. It was backed as one of the dinosaurs to come to the game. And of course, it's a great one to see. I think it'll bring in a brand new and unique mechanic, and that is pounce and latch and that's why I think he'll be coming in the combat update which could be coming later this year maybe in Q1 or Q2 or I don't think it's going to be coming in the second half of the year mainly because we will be seeing the quest improvements around that time as well. So what do I think this dinosaur will come with? Let's talk about it. We're going to talk about the slots that this creature could come with and how it's going to be. So firstly for the head slot we'll get one attack. It'll be a standard bite attack and that will be the standard thing that you get on Deinonychus and Latin of Venetric. We then come up with a claw attack. There'll be two different things here and now we don't have claw abilities for Latin of Venetrix and Deinonychus so I think this will be completely new. Firstly the Kilobator will have some big claws it's a big raptor it will have big meaty claws which you'll be able to use to cause some damage to its opponents so these are what i think it'll be doing it'll have a claw attack which will be able to do bleed and there we have it that's the claw attack sorted a bleed claw attack will be pretty nice but you can also switch it out for a latch attack where you can latch onto your prey and maybe claw at them or bite them i feel like there'll be two claw attacks instead of two bite attacks that you'll be able to put on and there'll be two slots here but the latch ability will go coincide with a boosted jump or a pounce ability 
depending on how the developers are going to do it. Moving on, we've got the Metabolism. I think he'll be the same as Deinonychus, Scavenger, Insectivore, and Hypercarnivore. For the Hide, I think he'll be the same as Deinonychus as well. Lightweight, Dense Feathers, and Standard. And then for the Legs, two leg slots for this one. The first one will be a passive one. This will be a Jump Boost. It will literally provide with boosted jump and reduced or increased fall damage resistance. I think this will tie into the Latch mechanic because you'll be able to boost your jump and you'll be able to then pat latch onto your opponents or the the boost jump could instead just be a pounce and that could be how it is the additional one here i feel like is going to be a sickle claw this will be another claw attack but on the feet which will be doing of course boosted damage and maybe a little bit of bleed as well and i feel like that will tie up the leg slots for this dinosaur when it releases for the tail i feel like you'll get tail fan like dinonychus and for voice i feel like you'll be getting bark and the speed buff abilities like Deinonychus and Latin Venetrix. So, what do you think about a Killobator? How do you think he'll be in the game? I think it's going to be a very interesting dinosaur. It's going to be quite a fun dinosaur at that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think he'll come with? Or do you literally just think he'll come exactly the same as Deinonychus is now? I'd love to know what you think. But now, let's move on to Miragea. And finally, we have Miragaya, or Miragaya, however you want to say it. I know the first way is very wrong, and Rook's probably typing up a message right now saying, Oh, he said it again! I'm going to bully him! And uh, that's pretty much what he does whenever I upload a video. God damn you, Rook, you meanie. But anyways, we do have... Miragaya to talk about next and this will be one of the other dinosaurs that I'm confident will be coming this year. It's a big stegosaur and will sit nicely between Kentrosaurus and Stegosaurus in the game. I don't think it's going to be an apex like Stegosaurus, I feel like it'll be close to it but I feel like it'll be a little bit more mobile compared to Stego. I know people say our oh, Miragaya is bigger than Stego and blah 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 but I feel like the devs won't want to dethrone Stego as the bigger stegosaur. So I feel like Miragaya, Miragaya will be a little bit lower in terms of its weight. So, let's talk about this. I do think it'll be a combination between that, Kentrosaurus, Stegosaurus, and Amargosaurus as well. Yes, you heard it here first. Amargosaurus, maybe, will be used as a little bit of inspiration in my eyes. And why? Well, let's go to the head attack. I think a simple bite attack will do, but I also think a headbutt or a head swing could also be featured on this dinosaur because look at its long-ass neck. It definitely looks like it could use some kind of head swing or headbutt ability and you could probably switch it out for the bite or the headbutt and there you go that's two different attacks for the head that you can use next up you've got the metabolism same as usual herbivore forager and fat reserves then you'll go for the hide i feel like you'll get standard hide and armored plates this is the same layout as stegosaurus however i think there'll be an additional hide which could see some kind of spike ability whereby the spikes on the rear are then utilized via passive damage if anyone bites those spikes, they get damaged a little bit. Or if anyone walks into those spikes, they get damaged a little bit. Maybe that's just going to be a standard ability that will be on the dinosaur as a whole, but it could also be a passive hide slot. For the legs, I feel like there'll be some form of pivot or traction. Maybe you can get them both because they act counteract each other anyways one of them increases turn radius one of them reduces it and especially reduces it on the spot for tail you'll then have three attacks and two slots for it in my eyes the normal tail attack that will do extra damage and no bleed you'll then do a charged tail attack which will do more damage compared to the standard tail attack but then you'll have a bleed tail attack as well which will utilize those big tail spikes and maybe Maybe it'll be more like a slam or some kind of proper whip where you utilize those spikes on the back of the tail. I feel like there'll be definitely something that utilizes those big tail spikes on that dinosaur. For the voice, I think the dinosaur will utilize something similar to the death rattle from Kentrosaurus, but I think it will become a group ability. Similar to death rattle does for Kentro, I feel like this will increase damage on all stegosaurs in your group within 30 meter radius for 30 seconds, or it could increase the defense of those stegosaurs. So then you've got normal stegosaurus, then you've got the death rattle for Kentro, then you've got a supportive ability from Miragaya, and I feel like that would be a decent idea. Anyways, that's Miragaya, or Miragaya, however you want to say it. I know one of them is definitely wrong, and the other one is definitely right. However, I can't shake it. 
Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think about these two and what do you think they'll come with. This is just my thoughts on these. Now I know this is a topic that I've covered extensively regarding the mystery dinosaur, new dinosaurs coming this year, what could the next dinosaur be, and I know it's a pretty easy topic to talk about and I do apologise for nailing this one every time I need to do a video. It seems like this one's done to death, but as a dinosaur game, you can talk about new dinosaurs as you please. But yeah, I wanted to talk about the fact that we now know for sure there'll be new dinosaurs coming this year. So we've got that confirmation. It's just when they will come. And I'm going to leave you all with a question. When do you think the two or the, the next dinosaur will come? What day do you think it will come? What month and what update do you think it will come with? Do you think it will be a standalone release that will just happen? Or do you think it will be in a big update? Let me know your thoughts. But other than that, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.